In this video, we shall discuss the uses of production possibility frontier in economics. Production possibility frontier is an important tool in the study of economics. While we defined economics, we learned that an economy exists because of two major facts, scarcity and choice. Using the concept of production possibility frontier, we can explain scarcity and choice in a concrete manner. It will also help us to clarify the concept opportunity cost, which is commonly used in economics. Besides this, production possibility frontier is widely used in the study of welfare economics, macroeconomics, and international economics. Let us now turn to explain scarcity and choice using production possibility frontier. We are starting with scarcity. Scarcity means deficiency of resources. From the study of production possibility frontier, we have come to know that any point beyond the production possibility frontier like F is unattainable because of deficiency of resources. We know along the production possibility frontier, all the resources are fully and efficiently used. Such a point is B. Now, if we want to move from B to F, we have to produce x1, x2 amount of additional x, which is not possible because of limitation of resources. All the resources are already used at point B. Similarly, C is another point on the production possibility frontier representing efficient use of all available resources. If we want to move from C to F, we have to produce y1, y2 amount of additional y. Again, it is not possible due to resource limitation. As we know, all the resources are in use at point C. This way, all the points like F that lies beyond the production possibility frontier represent the situation scarcity. What about choice? Along the production possibility frontier, there are so many combinations of two goods X and Y. At point A, we are using all of our resources to produce Y only. If we reduce the production of Y to Y1, we can have X1 amount of X shown by point B. Again, if the production of Y is reduced to Y2, production of x is increased to x2, shown by point C. And at D, all the resources are used to produce x. This way, there are numbers of combinations of x and y along the production possibility frontier. But which one of the combinations are suitable for the society? Is it B? or C, or some other combinations. Which one should we choose? The process is not straightforward, and we are not dealing with the process. We are simply explaining how production possibility frontier illustrates the concept choice. Obviously, choice should be made in such a way that people can satisfy maximum of their desires. 